up guys it is time yet again for another tier list video i'm your host bc king and we are continuing our pokemon typing rankings we have two more to get through the first of those two being my personal favorite type uh the dragon type i have always loved the dragon type uh pokemon throughout my entire life as a uh as a pokemon fanatic and i still love them to this day so uh we got a lot to get through because there's a lot of uh Pokemon that shouldn't be Dragon type but are. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll, let's jump uh, right into Kanto. Alright, so Gen 1, we have Charizard. No brainer, you guys know I love Charizard to death. Easy S tier all the way. We'll always love Charizard. I will say that I don't. I'm kind of torn if I prefer OG over this Mega form. I think I do prefer the OG one, but the Mega X form, phenomenal. I'm not a huge fan of the, uh, the Y form. But I would still rank that an S if that were on this list. So either way, Charizard is an S across the board. So there you go. Uh, Alolan Exeggutor. That, that's an A. <laughs> that's an A. I love this guy. This guy is so popular. They made him a Pokemon in Smash Bros. And he's pretty cool. He is a tall motherfucker. <laughs> he is so goddamn tall. You wouldn't think Exeggutor of all Pokemon would go from a Grass and Psychic type to a Grass and Dragon type. But it works, and it's, I mean, it's just him with a bigger neck, but, I mean, it works, and it's cool, so, there you go. Uh, Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragonite. Um, I would say Dratini's probably a B. The only reason why is because I find it pretty cool how you can catch Dratini through fishing in some of the games. Because a lot of these dragon types are only obtainable in, like, some of the late game areas, like Victory Road, uh, Dragon Spiral Tower in Gen 5. That's not really a late game, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, Dratini is obtainable through fishing and just surfing in a lot of the other games. So, uh, that is kind of cool. Uh, Dragonair, kind of the same deal. I wouldn't rank Dragonair higher than, uh, Dratini, if we're being honest. I will say Dragonite is definitely an A tier. I think it just misses S for me personally. I know a lot of people would probably rank Dragonite an easy S tier. But I still love Dragonite, and, um, yeah, the reason why, though, is because I already know, like, 10 Pokemon on this list are gonna be my S tier, and Dragonite isn't of that same league, unfortunately, but he is still a very high A tier, and I do love Dragonite. Uh, alright, well, uh, guys, Gen 1 is already done. That was pretty quick, so, uh, on to what's gonna be a really, uh, an, an even shorter Gen 2, actually. So yeah, Gen 1 was pretty short, but uh, Gen 2 has only two Dragon-type Pokemon, which is kind of weird. But anyway, we have Mega Ampharos. Um, I already like original Ampharos. I would say he's probably a B. Um, I, I do love them adding the little bit of uh, white hair and the white tail, but aside from that, not really in the A-League for me. Uh, Kindra, though, is probably just barely in the A-League. I, I've used Kindra in battles, and I've fought plenty of them in, like, in the games, and I gotta say, whether you're using him or you're against him, Kindra's a good Pokemon, especially if you can have his moveset be, uh, um, suitable for the opponent, but, um, yeah, I, I love Kindra. I would probably, um, <sighs> no, I'm gonna rank it as an A. I was tempted to put it in S tier, but again, I, I know my S tier. I know my S tier. Kindra and Dragonite are, like, right there, but they're not quite S tier for me personally. But they're definitely A tier. Uh, alright, so yeah, Gen 2 was even shorter than Gen 1, so on to Gen 3. Alright, here we go. Gen 3, we got some really good stuff in here. So first up, we have Mega Sceptile. Easy A. I, I love OG Sceptile, and I love Mega Sceptile. I will say I do prefer OG Sceptile over Mega Sceptile, but they're both an easy A tier. Like... Going from Grass to Grass Dragon, pretty nice glow up for, uh, for Sceptile. Uh, Vibrava and Flygon. Well, Flygon's an S, you guys know this already. Uh, Vibrava's probably maybe a B. Yeah, I would say B, because, um, I do think going from Trap Inch to that is, like, one of the most surprising Evos from Gen 3. Um, but I can't see him in the same league as my, uh... Uh, soon to be upcoming A tier Pokemon in the later gens. Uh, Altaria. Uh, probably a solid B. Uh, Mega Altaria. Uh, I do prefer it over OG Altaria, but not enough to put it in A tier. It is Dragon Fairy, which is kind of cool. Well, actually, you know what? 
I think I probably would put it like a very, very low A tier. Because again, like, it looks amazing, and it becomes a fairy type, which, you know, Dragon Fairy, like, two types that are like, you know, fairy beats dragon normally, and then you add that as like a second type to a dragon type, it's like, pretty cool combo there, right? So, I would say it's like, like, like a A minus minus tier, if that's a thing that exists. Uh, Bagon, Shogun, and Salamence. Well, Salamence is definitely an S already. Uh, Bagon... Uh, this might be my first C tier. I do like Bagon, but he's not really, um, also Shelgon too. Like, I, I do love Salamence, but Bagon and Shelgon, not the best looking dragon types, I gotta admit. Like, they look like, um, they don't really look like they're dragon types, right? If we're being honest. I don't know, but, um, also going from Shelgon to that, uh, going from that to Salamence, that's even more surprising than Trapped Into by Bravo, in my opinion. Uh, Mega Salamence. Uh... Okay, might be a hot take. I should put it here. I'm gonna put it there. I am not a huge fan of Mega Salamence. I, I think Roaring Moon from Gen 9 is what Mega Salamence should have been. In my opinion. I think that should have been the design for Mega Salamence. Not this thing. Where it's like... It's got just bigger wings. It's got like a little uh, strap thing now on its chest. And I don't know. I'm just... I'm not really vibing with the Mega form. I still love it. I still like it enough to put it in A tier. But I... I cannot put it above OG Salamence. So... There we go. Uh... Latios and Latios... Uh, probably solid Bs for me. I would say also the Megas. Um, I would say the Megas for me are definitely lower than OG because they both look similar. And they don't really do much to differentiate from the OG forms as a lot of other Megas do. Like Altaria, for example. So, for that reason, they're probably just uh, at a solid B tier for me. Uh, Rayquaza, easy, easy yes. Best Mega Evo, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. You guys know this, I've mentioned another tier list, so uh, we'll just skip through that. Uh, alright, Gen 3 is done, so on to Gen 4. Okay, the Sinnoh region. Should I do this now, actually? Should I put Giratina where you guys know it's gonna be? I'll, 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 I'll get there, I'll get there. I'll, I'm gonna go in order, for the most part. Uh, Gibble, Goodbye, and Garchomp. Um, Gibble's probably a B. Actually, no, 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 no. I would say, no, yeah, yeah, I would put it at a B. Gabite's probably a B. Garchomp's definitely an A. Mega Garchomp, though? Uh, it's, yeah, it's an A. I don't, I don't really love Mega Garchomp because here's the thing. We're not judging based on competitive, uh, competitive play. I've mentioned that before. Uh, but I have used Mega Garchomp and he is slow as fuck. <laughs> he is so goddamn slow. Like, he's powerful, but... I, I need more speed on that guy. And honestly, similar to um, Latios and Latias, doesn't really differentiate too much from OG Garchomp, but it still looks fine. So I'll give it that. So I'll put it at a solid A tier. Uh, Dialga and Palkia, easy, easy A's for me. I would say, oh, you know what? I'm dropping a hot take. I'm dropping a hot take. I love Dialga and Palkia. Always have. The origin forms in Legends Arceus... I get what they're going for. I I do. Not a big fan of them. I'm I'm not a big fan. Like the idea is cool, but going from what they were to that just doesn't really sit right with me. I I don't know why. They made them horses pretty much, right? I don't know. Like again, the the design is cool. Like the, the design looks spectacular, but I cannot put them over OG, Dialga, and Palkia. Like, I, I I did so originally, but after some thoughts, I'm like, you know what? Not a fan of them. Not really. They're not C-tier like uh, Bagon and Shelgon are, but yeah, not a big fan of the, uh, the origin forms of Dialga and Palkia. Alright, Giratina, done. Moving on to Gen 5. Dude, Gen 3 and 5 are kind of cooking, and Gen 4, I guess. But man, Gen 5 is really cooking here, so let's see what we got. 
We got Axew, Fracture, and Haxorus. Uh, I would say Haxorus is probably a very solid A tier for me. Uh, Axew is probably a B. Fracture is prob. Ooh, wait a minute. Do do I drop a hot take here? I do love Axew. I do love Axew in the anime, especially with uh, Iris. Um, Fracture though, I might put it here. Actually, you know what? Uh, no. It's like low, low B tier. Definitely a lot lower than Axew is, but I don't know. I feel like Fracture doesn't really resonate with me, similar to how Axew and Haxorus do. I don't know, just a, just a personal taste. Uh, Drudigan? Um, that'd be a high B if I was ranking it, like, the old way, but I'll put it at a B tier for now. I, I love the colors. The, the red head, the blue body, the claws, the spikes. Um... Yeah, pretty good dragon type. Uh, oh, here we go. You guys know how dragon, one of my favorites of all time. Easy S tier. Uh, Dino and Zvilus? Uh, I would say Dino's probably a solid C. Zvilus is probably gonna get, like, a, another low, low B tier. Um, I do love the whole, like, Hydra aspect that where it goes from, like, one head to two heads to three heads. Um... But yeah, they're just, um, Dino and Zvilus are just alright for me. Ma uh, meanwhile, High Dragon is an absolute, uh, masterpiece. Uh, Retram and Zekrom, easy S tiers once again. Also, Kyurem. Like, they, they were cooking hard with the, uh, the Gen 5, uh, box legendaries, as you, as you might call them. Plus the third one, obviously, with, uh, Kyurem. Um, White Kyurem and Black Kyurem, same deal, easy S tier for me. I, I couldn't rank them lower if I tried. Um, <laughs> Alright, well, uh, there you go. That is Gen 5, so on to Gen 6. So, we were cooking with Gen 3 and 5, right? With the Dragon types. Gen 6, I gotta admit, is really not as cooking with this type. And you'll see why in a minute. Um, Dragology? Not a big fan of. Some people are, right? The, the typing is really good. It being a Dragon and Poison type, really good typing. But the whole, like, sea algae dragon thing while it's cool i'm not vibing with it personally but it is like it's a solid b but i couldn't rank it higher than that uh tyrant and tyrantrum here we go i i like tyrant tyrantrum though i think it's almost an s tier i i have always wanted a t-rex pokemon um in in pokemon but um we didn't get it until now and they and they cooked with Tyrantrum, like, I gotta admit, they, they were cooking, like, if you guys don't know, right, I'll say this now while I'm, while I'm doing this, I have wanted a T-Rex Pokemon, a Dolphin Pokemon, and a, um, uh, like a Chinese Dragon sort of Pokemon, similar to Rayquaza, but kinda not, I guess, uh, we got Dolphin with Palafin in, uh, Gen 9, and then we got T-Rex with Tyrantrum here, but anyway, moving on, uh, Gumi, Sligu, and Gudra, I'm gonna get so much hate for this. I know I am. I am gonna get so much hate for this. I like Ash's Gudra in the anime. They they built it up pretty well. I'm not a big fan of this line at all. I'm I'm really not. I would say Gumi's like a low C. Sligu's probably also a C. Gudra, I think, is a very low B tier. Like very, very low B. Again, love Ashes Gudra, but in terms of the games and, and more, I'm not a fan of Gudra. Also, Hisuian, kind of the same thing. I'll rank him the same, pretty much. Um, I, I don't know. Like, I I feel like starting with Gen 6, they, they made dragon types that weren't really dragons, if that makes sense. Which is not really a bad thing, but when you're coming off of, like, Gen 3 and 5 with, like, Reshiram and Zekrom, like, being actual, like, mythical-looking dragons, and then we got Rayquaza with Gen 3. And then it's like, they started making dragon types that weren't really dragon-looking, if that makes sense. But, um, yeah, sorry, Gudra fans, not a big fan of Gudra. I still like him, but I don't love him. Uh, Noivern and Noibat. Or, sorry, yeah, Noibat and then Noivern, I, sh I should say. Um, I would say Noibat's probably a low B. Noivern's probably, like, a low A. I, I adored Ash's Noivern. Not the best one he's had, like, best dragon type, but I, I liked it. Um, 
And yeah, it being like a wyvern with uh, with sound wave ears is kind of a cool idea. Um, but just not up to the level of like my higher up dragon type ideas. Uh, then we got Zygarde. Let me tell you right now. Let me tell you right now. If it was not for the anime arc of Pokemon XYZ, I would not give two flying bucks about Zygarde. They made him such a forgettable legendary in X and Y. He's just in some random cave that's like way out of the way. And he has no story to him. He's just like there for some reason, right? At least they gave Kyurem a story in Black 2, White 2, right? Like he was also kind of there in the original Black and White. Like Zygarde is here. But man, thank God XYZ gave Zygarde such a good story and such good moments. But, um, yeah, if we, if I was doing this list before the anime, before that anime arc came out, it'd probably be like a low C tier for all these forms. But, if I have to rank them now, after watching XYZ especially, I would say OG Zygarde's probably like a low A, Dog Form's probably like a high B, and then this form is an S. Just based on that scene alone with Lysander when he does like the, the Z special move. Phenomenal stuff. Like thank god that anime arc came out because they redeemed Zygarde. Because the games completely shafted him. He was such a forgettable legendary. So thank you Pokemon XYZ the anime for redeeming Zygarde because he needed it. And he is a great Pokemon after that. Uh, alright, well, enough about Zygarde praise, but, uh, on to Gen 7. Alright, so, um, Alola's kind of a mixed bag for me. Turtonator is one I don't really like. I'm gonna put him at a C tier. Here's why. This was the first dragon type that got revealed where I was like, that's not a dragon type. <laughs> like, he's a fire type for sure, based on the colors and him being able to, like, you know, shoot flames. But he is not dragon looking. Like he has a cool ability and move with where he like explodes his shell on his back. But he just does not scream dragon type. I've never loved him. I, I don't know. I'm just I am not vibing with Turtonator. He he was fine in the anime with Kiawe, but other than that, not a big fan of him. So definitely a C tier for me. Uh Drampa. Oh god. <laughs> oh man. So I just mentioned how I wanted like a Chinese dragon sort of Pokemon. And I guess this is kind of like one. It's kind of similar to it. But this is not what I was looking for. Not really. This is my lowest pick right now. I know so many people who are like huge Drampa fans. Me? I don't like this guy at all. I think they were going for a certain type of like mythical dragon design and this one for me didn't stick the landing. I gotta admit. Plus it's a normal type too, like at least give it a cool typing, like not dragon normal of all types, like maybe dragon water or grass or fighting, but dragon normal could have been better. But uh, anyway, we have Jangmo-O, Hakamo-O, and Komo-O. This line really surprised me because the, the names at first were like, what the hell? Like, yeah, we have Ho-Oh from Gen 2, but these names did not ring with me at first. But then I uh, I kind of came around on them. Uh, I would say Jengmo-O is probably a solid, like, low B. Hakamo-O is probably, like, a high to mid B for me. Komo-O is definitely an A. I think Komo'o um, is kind of underrated. It's also a dragon fighting type. That is the one typing I've always wanted. Besides like maybe dragon, uh, uh, like bug dragon for example. But dragon fighting, I've always wanted that. And they they were cooking with uh, Komo'o. Like it being like a scale dragon. Uh, it's move claim scale is also pretty cool. Um, so yeah, good. Uh, Guzzlord, the Ultra Beast. Uh... Mmm, I would say about, like, a low A. Not my favorite Ultra Beast. That'd probably be either Buzz... Or, no, it is Buzzwool, um, and other ones. But Guzzlord's probably, like, my second or third favorite overall. Maybe third favorite. 
Um, but the idea is cool, where it's like this giant mouth as a belly, where it's like eating stuff, and then the claws, and then... It, it is a terrifying Pokemon. If you played Ultra Sun and Moon, and you and you uh, went to that um, area to catch Guzzlord, and he's eating that city, he is terrifying, so I'll give him that. He is a scary freaking Pokemon. Uh, Ultra Necrozma. See, I want to rank it S based on the battle alone, because the battle for me was pretty hard. One of the hardest fights in any Pokemon game. I, I love that battle. But as a Pokemon, he's probably just an A for me. Um, not a lot of color to him. Like, yeah, they're going for like a like a light Necrozma. He's like, you know, no longer shelled with the black armor. He's like releasing all the light now. So the, the idea is cool, but um, I tend to prefer more, uh, more colorful uh, Pokemon, as you guys probably know by now, but, um, I do love Ultra Necrozma, based on that battle, one of the best fights in any Pokemon game. Uh, sorry for the thing pop up, uh, by the way. Uh, Naganoddle, a Poison Dragon Ultra, well, not a, no, it is Ultra Beast, right? Didn't they say it was an Ultra Beast, I think? Yeah, Ultra Beast. Um, Naganoddle is almost an S, I love the ID here, it's like a Poison Dragon, uh, kind of like a, what, like a Wasp Pokemon, with like a Stinger. Um, so yeah, just know a lot of these in A tier are so close to being S for me. They're like right there. Like Dragonite, Garchomp, uh, Tyrantrum, Zygarde, Necrozma, Naganado, but they're just not quite in the same league as the ones I have in S tier. But I, I adore Naganado. I am so glad they gave Ash one in the uh, Sun Moon anime. I didn't love that anime, of course, but um, I do love that he got to have Poi Pol and then he evolved the Naganado for the, for the league. That was good. Uh, alright, uh, what was done, so on to Gen 8. Alright, so Gen 8, I gotta admit, we're getting kinda back to, uh, cooking with some of these, uh, ideas for dragon types. Uh, Applin? Oh, man. The Applin line, I adore so much. This was such a cool idea for a dragon type line. I would say Applin might be a bit too high for me. That's an A. Flapple's probably an A. Um, like, dude, it's a dragon with apple wings. How can you not love this idea? Like, Gen 8, like, here's the thing. I'm not a big fan of Gen 8, you guys probably know by now, but they were cooking with the designs for Gen 8. Probably the best list of, like, new ideas for Pokemon. I'll give Sword and Shield that, even though I'm not a big fan of Sword and Shield overall. Um, Appleton's probably not an A for me, but probably, like, a high B. Um, G Max, uh, uh, sorry, G Max. Well, they're both the same. G Max, Appleton, and Flapple are the same form, so uh, that's probably an A for me. Uh, Diplin, I would say probably an A. Similar, or also uh, Hydrapple. Like when I saw Hydrapple uh, in the DLC, I was like, bro, yes, so much yes. Like Dragon plus Apple, great combo as we've learned with the Applin line. Phenomenal stuff. <laughs> All right. Oh no. Oh, they're back. Uh. <laughs> uh if you guys missed it in in the other one I did back in the or whenever, I hate these fossil Pokemon. I I hate Dracovish. I hate Arcto. Whatever the fuck that is. I hate these guys so much. <laughs> they are the worst. Fossil Pokemon of all time. No doubt about it. Like, the idea is a little bit cool, but these designs fucking suck! <laughs> They're so bad. Anyway, Duraludon, uh, probably a B, not my favorite. Like, it's, it's an okay design for a dragon type, and it's also steel, which is cool, but not the best design for a dragon. Uh, G-Max Duraludon is kind of like a high B for me. Uh, Archaladon, probably also a B. Um, oh, here we go. We got, uh, Dreepy, Dracloak, and Dragapult. Um, I would say Dreepy's probably a solid B. Um, also Dragon Ghost, love that typing. Uh, Giratina knows a thing too about that. <laughs> uh, Dracloak's probably also a B. Dragapult's probably an A. I'm gonna stick with that. Yeah, that's a, that's good ranking for, for all these guys. Uh, Eternatus? Not gonna lie, I do- I did enjoy the battle with, uh, Eternamax Eternatus at the end of the Sword and Shield story, but... Um, I'm not really a fan of the design. 
Like, I'll rank the OG form a B tier. I'll rank the Eternamax form an A tier, because that form is fucking awesome. Not quite S tier, but it's almost there. Like, I, I do love that form, especially. Uh, oh, Reggie Drago. Um, uh, I would say, no, mm, I'm gonna say B. I'm gonna say B. I, I think Aleki is, like, far superior to Drago in the, uh, Sword and Shield DLC, but I really do like Drago. I just thought they had new Reggies overall, because... Like, I, I love the OG Reggies, but then they added these new ones in the Sword and Shield DLC, and I was over the moon. I'm like, yes, new Reggies. And they're both cool. Like, I love Lucky more, obviously, but Drago is pretty damn cool as well. So there we go. Uh, Alright, well, Galar's done, so on to our last gen, which is, which is uh, of course, Gen 9. Alright, Gen 9 for me is kind of a mixed bag, similar to uh, Gen 7 overall. Uh, Cyclozar. Um... I would say probably another solid, like, maybe high to mid B, perhaps. Um, the idea of, like, you know, riding on it like a motorcycle, similar to what's upcoming with, uh, Karadon and Maridon. Cool idea, but, um, colors are kind of not there for me. Um, the shiny form, though, is pretty cool, I will say. Uh, but Cyclozar is a, a, a good but not fantastic Pokemon. Or, a uh, fantastic Dragon type, I should say. Uh, Tatsugiri? Um, I think some might go with A or S. I'm gonna go with a B. Um, the whole, like, sushi dragon idea is cool. Um, but, uh, same argument here. I can't see him in the same league as my A tier. I just can't. Like, A tier and S tier are, like, the cream of the crop in terms of design and, and, uh, and other stuff. But, um, I do like Tatsugiri a lot. Uh, Frigibax, Bax, Cal or, sorry, um... Frigibax, Arctobax, and Bax Caliber, right? I forget the name still. I don't know why. Um, not gonna lie, like, the whole Dragon Ice typing is cool, but this line feels kind of forgettable to me. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I did have Bax Caliber on my team, uh, in the, uh, store, and when I streamed the, uh, when I, my, when I streamed Pokemon Violet for the playthrough, but, um, not a huge fan of Bax Caliber. I'm not sure why. I think he just feels too, uh, I guess too simplistic in terms of, like, other cool dragon ideas that they've had. But he's still good. I'll give him that. Um, oh, here we go. Roaring Moon. Again, I mentioned this earlier. This is what Mega Salamence should have been. Um, probably, actually, you know what? Is it worthy of S tier? Mmm. I'm gonna say high A. I'm gonna say, like, a, like an A-plus tier. That is Mega Salamence right there. Fuck this other... You know what? You know what? Actually, I'm doing something. I'm doing something. I'm doing something. I am putting the OG Mega Salamence in B tier. Roaring Moon, again, that is what Mega Salamence should have been. So, I'm, I'm swapping them. That is... Yeah, I'm, I'm sticking with that. that. Like, that is a much better... Um, new Salamence form than this, uh, this not-so-great fucking curved wing bullshit. Um, Coridon and Maridon. Um, they look awesome. Uh, you can ride them, which is cool. I've always loved that. Um, but in terms of where I'd rank them in, uh, with these other dragon types, uh, you know what? I'm gonna say A. I'm gonna say A. Maybe like an A minus. Um, they're not my favorite like mascot dragons that we've had. Like that goes to Retro Mazekrom, obviously, or I guess Giratina for, for, for like, you know, or I guess for, uh, whatever. Um, but yeah, I I do love uh, Rhydon and Coridon. They're they're pretty damn cool, but um, I wouldn't rank them like super duper high as other people probably would. Um, oh, here we go. We have uh Walking Walking Wake, right? That's the uh, Paradox Suicune. Um, I would say a low A. I, I think I kind of prefer OG Suicune, but this form looks dope. Like, it's a dinosaur Suicune with, like, these cool-looking tails. I mean, it's a dope design. Uh, what is beyond dope, though, is the Entei Paradox being, um... Oh, what is it? Um... Uh, what is it? Fuck, it's, uh, Gouging Fire, I think, right? Is that what it is? Um, this form is great. I can't put it in S tier, 
but it's like A+. plus. It's like right on the verge of S tier. That, like, I already loved Entei as is. I think this Entei is better than OG Entei, which people might not agree with, but I think it is. The, the, the giant, like, gold thing it's got going on, like, it is popping, man. I love that form. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, might get some flack for this. I do love Raikou's OG form. This form, though, I'm not vibing with. Uh, what is it called? Like, something, uh, Raging Bull, right? The, the idea is cool, like, the whole giraffe idea with the purple cloud now around its neck. It's cool and all, but, uh, just doesn't really sit right with me. I, I don't know why. But it's still a good enough form to put in B tier. Uh, Alright, and with that, we're done. Oh, man. I finally got to rank my favorite type in Pokemon, being the Dragon type. This was a lot of fun. I This list for me feels like the most right tier list out there. Like, I think my choices here are, like, pretty damn accurate. Like, you know, I, I had a feeling that the B tier would be the most crowded one because, like, there's just so many that are just not quite A tier, but they're, like, still good to put into B tier. But goddamn, man. This was kind of hard in some ways because there were so many there were so many in the A tier that I wanted to put into in S tier, but I just couldn't. Like, it was a hard struggle there. But, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments of what you would change. And I guess I'll see you guys in the future for the last one of the Pokemon type rankings being the fairy type. Um, and as far as other videos, like the next one coming up for the uh, tier list, which is the, uh, uh, I think the next wrestling one. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys for that. But until then, uh, take care. Bye.